Hey y'all, it's Mr. Smith again. I'm here with video two of percent rate. I'm going to go to read the problem. Um, so they tell us to find the percent rate at which the exponential function decreases by. Uh, if they did not put that decrease, so it's exponential decay because this is less than one. If it's less than one, then it is exponential decay. So if you remember before, um, our exponential decay function is c times 1 minus r to the t. And we just have a t. There's no number in front of the t. So we can take this inside term, which is 0 0.834, and set it equal to the 1 minus r. Then all we do is, just like we do with exponential growth, we subtract the 1. And some of you might need to add the zeros just to help you. Um, of course, this is calculator active. So those of you who are more comfortable with the calculator, just type in 0.834. And you can subtract the 1. And as you can see, we get negative 0.166. So we get negative 0.166. And then 1 minus 1 is 0. And we have a negative r. And so the last thing we have to do is divide by negative 1 because we have to get r completely by itself. And we get a positive 1.66 is equal to r. And so to find our percent rate, we have to multiply it times 100. And so we'll get 16.6% would be our percent rate. Again, just like before, the shortcut, subtract 1. And it's with this one, there's a little extra that you have to do. Because even though you're subtracting by 1, you still have to divide by negative 1 when it's decay. And then multiply by your 100. That's why I'd be real leery about taking, you know, these shortcuts. You really want to understand what truly is going on behind the scenes before you jump to just taking the shortcut. Um, so let's do one more. Um, so in this one, we have y is equal to 300 times 0.97 raised to the 4t. This one, again, is a little different because if you notice, we have a number in front of the t. So what do we have to do with that? Think about it think about it that is right we have to take that 0 0.97 and raise it to the fourth first so when I take my calculator I do 0 0.97 and if I raise it to the fourth we get 0 0.853 so I'm going to write 0 0.853 the reason why I change that to a 3 is because the number after the 2 is greater than 5 or is 5 or greater so we have 0 0.8, 8, 5, 3. And remember, this is equal to 1 minus r, because that's the inside portion. We subtract 1 on both sides. So we have negative r on this side. If we take that answer and subtract 1. We get 0.1147. I remember it's negative, so we get negative 0.1147. The R is negative, so we divide by negative 1. And we get a positive 0.1147 is equal to R. And what's the last step we have to do? Well, that is correct. We multiply by 100. So when we multiply by 100, we get a percent rate of 11.47% would be our R. So remember, the only difference between exponential growth and exponential decay is that if it's decay, you have to add in the extra step by dividing by the negative 1. And remember the way we determine if it's exponential growth or exp exponential decay is by looking at the number inside the parentheses. If it's less than 1, then it's decay. If it's greater than 1, then it's growth. 
Um, again, I hope this video helped. Um, there's one more video which is more like the application.